gentleman to call me the moment he gets back. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start you. It's okay. I thought you were Richard. Ah, story of my life. So where is Richard this afternoon? I haven't seen him since he went off to see Dr. Weymouth last night. He hasn't been home. What? Richard called last night. There was a medical emergency with Dr. Weymouth. Harry's ill. Is it serious? I don't know. He was rushed to the hospital. Richard went with him to see if he could talk to Dr. Weymouth some more. That's all I know. Doesn't sound like Richard. Well, he was quite determined, determined to find out whatever Dr. Weymouth knew. So if he stayed behind, there must have been something for him to find out. I guess. I still can't believe it, though. Dr. Weymouth has been a palace physician for years. If he's been untrustworthy, then... I'm sure you'll be the first to know if he has, Edmund. Something I said? No. I have some work to do with the museum project to keep myself busy before Richard gets here. Well, let you know the second he arrives. Thanks. Thank God you're as easy to read as he is. I haven't really told you anything yet. Because you're right. Dr. Weymouth has spilled his guts. I'll be the first to hear about it. Oh, where the hell is he? So why aren't you unraveling right now? I am. It's just on the inside. Well, when, when is... When is Father Ray going to get here? Huh? Any minute. Do you want to roll? I can't eat anything. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't sleep last night. I mean, every time I, I closed my eyes, all I could see was Carmen pointing a gun at you. I mean, I, I, I don't know how you could possibly fall asleep. Actually, it's the only time that I, I do feel safe. Before, I would dream about Carmen haunting me. But she's gone now. The only thing that keeps me awake now is how scared I am about Danny. I mean, look, look at you just hearing about it. Can you imagine how Danny feels? Please, Michelle, I can't wrap my brain around how Danny feels right now. Well, neither can I, but you asked me how I deal with it. And what I went through was nothing compared to what happened to him. What he had to do. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to bring him back. Hey, Michelle. Thank you so much for coming. I didn't know who else to call. Danny's in so much pain. Get in here, now. I have some things to discuss with you before the meeting. Oh, there you go. Hey, go. hang on. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I'll take the baby. If you, something. you hear anything from Susan... Listen to just... me. I heard from Susan. You did? Yes, she left a message for me. Is she all right? On my cell phone. I, she obviously didn't want to speak to either one of us. She said everything's fine. She's on her way Everything home. is fine. What does everything I don't know, it's mean? vague, it's really vague. Do you think that means everything's fine? She was not mugged in the streets of Chicago, or does that mean everything's fine? I'm on the road with the band. Sounds well, good, but they don't need the dancer. Well... Welcome home. Thank you. Does your father know you're back? Uh, no, not yet. I wanted to come and see you guys first. I wanted to show you that I listened to you. I listened to your whole lecture on responsibility, and it took... I am much more mature today than I was yesterday. Well, please sit. Please. Tell us all about it. We'd love to hear everything. And don't sugarcoat, really. I can handle this. If you need to go to work, I'm fine. Honey, I'm not going anywhere. This could have a lot to do with how the meeting goes. I want you to hear this, too. Great. Let's have it. I fixed everything. Yes, you said that in that detailed message you left on my cell phone. Would you care to expand a little bit? I had a meeting with Newground. You had a meeting with him? Yes. 
I had a meeting with them. It, it took a while, but finally, when I got in to see them, once they realized that I wasn't constructing a business and we were only trying to make enough money to see their concert, they understood. I said I was sorry, and that it was naive and stupid, and that it was more of a mistake than a crime. And they were cool. And they're dropping the lawsuit. Huh. Well, what about those, um, those little criminal charges? Remember the FBI was involved in this whole thing? They said the FBI would back off if the band did. And it was only a big case that they were going to make an example of something, so... Their lawyers are going to call Ross today. Well, thank you, God. Well done, Susan. If the FBI backs off, Spalding should be off the hook. Yes. Oh, and by the way, I told them that it was all me. That Spalding had nothing to do with it. I used your computer, and you didn't even know. And they totally understood. And that was it? Yeah. I said I was embarrassed and ashamed, and that no one would do anything like this ever again. Susan, you went to Chicago. You went to Chicago without asking. You said to handle it like an adult, Harley. I took responsibility like you asked. I left a note. Everybody knew exactly where I was. I was safe. It, it, it was the truth. I told the truth. It was simple. And it worked. Yes. The simple truth always works best. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Wait a second. What do you think, that's it? You guys are off the hook, so that's it. That's not my idea of making amends, Susan. Right. You want punishment. Yes. Oh, yes, please. Let's hear all about the punishment. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Yes. Um, You'll be happy to know that there is punishment. Well, I don't know about happy, but please go on. We have to wear a ball and chain every time we go out into public. We have to shave our heads and then weave our hair into shirts until we repent. Ah, Edmund's reading list at work. I'm kidding. But there is punishment. I'm listening. We have to write a paper for school telling exactly what we did and why it was wrong. And then we have to pay back all the money we made selling the CDs. And Newground's going to give it to charity. What? Don't you think that's punishment enough? Oh, what, 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 do you want me to go to jail or something no, to Susan, make you I happy? I don't want you to go to jail. And I guess, uh, I guess since you spent most of that money that you made paying it off will be work. Yes, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to pay it back. I'll loan you the money. You can owe me. Honey, I got to get Spalding in the clear. I'll give you a year to pay me back. If you don't, I will sue you. Okay. Thank you. I will pay you back. I believe you. Okay. So, I guess that's it. I know you guys both have to go to work, and I better tell my dad the good news. Bye-bye. What time is it? Uh, I mean, I'm completely wiped out, and the day's only just begun. Oh, but honey, we've begun it with such a bang. Did you see her little face? How proud she was to show us how everything worked out. Well, I gotta tell you, I, um... I hate to admit it. It was very reckless, but you kinda gotta respect what she did. Don't give me that look. You do. I don't have to say it out loud. Say it out loud. I'm proud of her. I wish you hadn't bought her off. I didn't buy her off. I didn't buy her off. She'll pay me back. I wasn't kidding, honey. I have to make sure that Spalding is covered. Honey, it just... It, it lets her off the hook. You know, using Spalding money. It's a quick fix. Spalding money. Mm, forgive me. I, I, I thought that I was helping you, too. Well, think again. Ray, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to put you in a bad situation. But Sophie. you're the only one I know who can help. My brother and my aunt, they care about Danny. But mostly because I do. But you, you love him for him. Period. You're the only one I know who does. He's so alone, Michelle. When you look at Danny now, it's like 
There's nothing behind his eyes. He's pulled so far into himself. Yes, that's it. I, I don't know what to do to bring him back. All he hears, all he sees is I killed my own mother. Nothing else goes in. He won't even look at me. He won't even think about our child. And Carmen's gone. He could be free. We could finally be free to have our life together. He's not free. If anything, Carmen has a bigger hold on him now than she ever did when she was alive. He's running right back to the life he used to run away from. I know, but why? I think, I think in a weird way, it's like penance for him. By becoming who Carmen expected him to be, it's, it's like he's keeping her alive. So he's gonna pay for the rest of his life? He's never gonna forgive himself? I don't know. Will he ever stop running away from me? From our child? Kenny. Oh my God, Ray. What if, what, what if it's me? What if it's me that he can't forgive? You could sound a little happier to hear from the man who just set you up for life. Set me up is right. What are you doing calling me on my direct line? Why don't you just draw a map? Now oh, calm down, you fool. I'm on an encrypted line. The phone company doesn't even know this number exists. I'll take it that sullen pause was your way of apologizing. Uh, sorry. Glad to hear from you. I'm dying to know how the plan's working out. Is the royal marriage on the rocks yet? Well, it's rocky around here, that's for sure. I think the plan's unraveling. What happened? Weymouth. He was always the weakest link. I think he may have broken. But well, don't jump to conclusions. I saw him, Rourke. I went by to stiffen the good doctor's spine before my brother arrived to ask him questions. I thought I'd shored him up, but... Richard went to see him last night and he hasn't come back yet. I'm afraid my brother pushed him and the truth just came tumbling out. But you don't know. I know Richard's still gone. I know he's given Cassie some story about a medical emergency and he's staying away. For all I know, planning his next move. So, what's your next move? A move, perhaps. So, Rourke, how are the accommodations there? All they were promised to be? Your Highness, with all due respect, it's a bad idea to come here. I went to a lot of trouble to cover my tracks, and our deal was that I got to disappear, not to have you lead a parade right to me. Let me guess. Two passports in different nationalities. One in your name, one in an alias. At least three reservations going in different directions, only one of which you took. Three or four legs to each trip. And the last one, you took your private little transport that you piloted yourself. And everything was paid in cash, so you'd leave no paper trail whatsoever. Something like that. Right. Well, don't teach your grandmother to suck eggs. What? I wrote the book. If I make a move, nobody will be able to follow me. I'll keep in touch. Making a move, Edmund? The Harbor Project. It's a big move for us. Mm. And you'll be hard to keep up with. On the neighboring islands. That was Jim LeMay on the phone. He wanted to speak to someone in San Marcos about their harbor, but I told him we didn't want to alert any possible competition of the cruise line business. Ah. We don't want to get the jump on us. Right. It's very thorough of you. Then again, that's how your mind works, isn't it? Keeping secrets, always thinking two moves ahead. I want this project to work for us, Richard. Of course you do. You seen Cassie? Yeah, she's working on the museum project somewhere. Colonel Dax. Yes, I need to see you right away. Uh, and would you mind asking the princess to join us? Thank you. Shall I go? Oh, no. No. Please. Stay. I can't tell you what Danny said to me. But I can tell you he absolutely does not blame you for what happened. 
I almost wish you did. I could live with that. Michelle. But I can't stand the idea that he's blaming himself. That he, he's going to throw his life away because he saved mine. It's a blood debt. It's family. And any family to kill one of your own is unthinkable. But for Santos... I know. I swear, Ray, when we were out on the docks, after, after it happened, Danny picked up the gun again. I, I was so scared, I thought he was going to shoot himself. He, he would never do that. No man in our family could ever do something like that. But he's going to kill himself slowly with a life that he despises? Makes a lot of sense, huh? He goes against every instinct in his blood by shooting Carmen to protect you. He chose an outsider over family. Now he's trying to keep her alive by becoming her. Have you said that to him? Can you say that to I, him? I don't have to, Michelle. He knows. He knows all this. It's, it's just right now he can't help himself. So how can I help him? How can we help him? We, we pray. We ask God to help us. Ask God? Where is he, Ray? Why has he abandoned Danny now? No, Michelle, God hasn't abandoned Danny. It's Danny's the one that's walked away. But God's fighting for him. He's working to get him back. He works through people, through you, through your baby. But you know what? That God gives us a free will. Danny's got to want to come back. He wants to... He's got to want God's grace. Just keep loving him. Love him with all your heart. Give him an alternative to the darkness, Michelle. You keep doing that, and I believe with all my heart that Danny will stop punishing himself. And one day, if you're still there, he will turn around. I promise you. I, I want to be Ray, but he won't even come near me. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Okay, I did everything you said. I told the kitchen what you said about the food. One of the cooks is hanging around just in case you need them. Mm -hmm. The bar is stocked. Good. I got the, the cigars from Mace Trey. Um, I didn't know where you wanted me to put them, so... Over there. Next to Carlos, I want him right next to me. Sure. Um, Carlos is, is coming? Yeah. Anybody else I know? You mean like your good buddy, Carlos? Come on, Danny, what's going on here? I th something big's going down here. You, you close the club, mm -hmm. you got all these preparations, special things for different people. That whiskey you had me get, that's Juan Tejada's brand, I know it. It's good to know there's some homework you do. Hey, I learned what I can. You got me working the club, so I know what people drink. Give me something else. I can learn that too, Dan. Yeah, yeah, from your lips. So what's up? What's, what's going on here? Is something big going down here today or what? The heads of all the families. My meeting. I called it. I, uh, I have some plans for the future. I'm going to lay it out for them. I'm not too sure how some of them are going to react. We'll see. We'll see. What is that? What is that? Like a, an expression or something? I may live to regret it, but I want you at the meeting. Yeah? Yeah, to observe. That's it. You keep your mouth shut or Yo, your history. Uh, hey, hey, I'm, I'm your stone pillar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be a useful stone pillar, but I'll be quiet, man. Don't worry. But any, anything you need, you just tell me and I'm there. It's done. Uh, this, this, this is what I'm given to build with. Hey, Danny, I'm solid, okay? Mm -hmm. I won't let you down, all right? I hope not. I need you to pay attention and to take this very seriously if you want to be a part of this family. Because this meeting today is going to redefine our future. Hey, Primo, don't, don't worry about me. I'll be on my best behavior, all right? I'm not worried. So, um, who else is coming to the meeting? Anybody else I know? Carlos. Juan Tejana, as you guessed. Charlie Caminado. Johnny Machado. Yeah. What about for the Santos? Is, is um, Abuela coming? No, I run this family. <laughs> She's not feeling well. Yeah, wh when are you gonna let her be well? 
Danny, Danny, with all due respect, she's our grandmother. You can't keep her locked up in that house forever. Are you gonna make me regret including you before we even get started? Danny, I'm talking about our grandmother here. Right. Mm -hmm. You wanna know about our nice, sweet, old abuela? She was running a shadow operation behind my back. Very messy, very dangerous operation that was bad business all around. Tony, this family is moving in an entirely new direction. One that will make us very rich and one that has a legitimate cover. There's room for only one of us at the head of the table, and that's me. So, um, so what's the plan? We're gonna go into business. Real business. Have you noticed that in the past few years all these 16-year-old kids got rich on the internet? Why haven't we? Business, computers, you think mm -hmm. these old guys are gonna go for that? Damn. They will if they want to survive. If not, then they'll be replaced. Times have changed, Tony. It's not really a revolution, it's more like evolution. If you want to survive, you adapt. Otherwise, you lie with the dinosaurs. It'll be their choice. So, now I just have to earn the money to pay Philip back. I have to say, Susan, I'm very impressed by the way you've handled yourself in this whole thing. That's what everybody seems to think. And new ground was certainly very understanding. They're really nice. You want to meet him? Seriously, I, I, I'm <laughs> not kidding. You want to meet him? What's up, Susan? Wow. Um, they've been on the road for quite some time, and they're basically living on pizza and takeout, and they're coming through town, so I kind of invited them over for some home cooking. I'll help with the cooking, uh -huh. please, please, but please. Would that be okay? okay, yes, sure, sure. In fact, why don't you invite all of your co-conspirators over? Oh, thank you, thank you so <laughs> much. <gasps> okay, well, I guess we should probably get started. Uh, oh, 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 you know what? First, first call your dad, because he could really use some good news. Why, what's wrong? N nothing, nothing, nothing else. It's just that, um, we, you know, he's had a really rough year with Lizzie's illness and my problems and, and your adventures. He could just, he could just use some good news, especially coming from the light of his life. Who? That would be you. No, it'd be you. Susan, <laughs> there is no one more important to your father than you are. Believe me. You go call him. Okay, I will. I'd love to be the bearer of good news for once. I don't know, maybe this is a sign that things are getting better for all of us. Well, let me know as soon as possible, thank you. Are you sure you don't want any coffee or food or something? You look as if you've been up all night. I have been up all night, Edmund. I couldn't possibly eat now, thank you, not now. I'm worried. Sick. Is Dr. Weymouth all right? Uh, Your yeah, Highness, I went to the hospital last night right after your call. You were nowhere to be found. I wasn't at the hospital for very long, Dax. Where were you? At the coroner's office. Dr. Weymouth is dead. Dead. Mm. Richard, that's terrible. Yes. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but was he able to say anything before he died? Harry was very upset when I arrived. Something had just happened with his wife just before I got there. And then he started complaining about a headache. And I assumed that he was just upset over something personal. I didn't I didn't think much of it. So you did put the questions to him? Yes, I, the man was cracking up right before my eyes, you know. I, I presented the case as it were. I told him that I knew that someone was blackmailing him and if he would just tell me who, I might be able to help him. He was about to tell me the truth, or at least I thought he was, and then suddenly his headache got worse, much worse, and then he, he just collapsed. I thought he had died right there. 
But he hadn't. No. No, I called an ambulance. He was hanging on by a thread. And I went with him to the hospital. I was just hoping that somehow he would, you know, regain consciousness. But he didn't? No. No, he... He never came out of it. As I was sitting there waiting, I had all these wild theories going through my mind. I, could this be an assassination? Could it be a suicide? The timing is quite extraordinary. Yes. I will see to it that there is a thorough autopsy. That will be necessary, Dax. An autopsy has already been done. That's what took so long, waiting for the report from the coroner. It seems there was a intracranial aneurysm a weakened blood vessel that sort of just blew up under the pressure. Could anyone have given him anything to cause it? That's no proof of anything. Could be any number of things. Could be a condition that Dr. Weymouth had with him you know, for many years and he never knew about. And then the stress and the guilt over what he had done set it off. Under the circumstances, it isn't easy to feel sympathy for Dr. Weymouth. Quite. I feel bad for the man. He's dead. After causing you and Prince Richard no small amount of difficulty? Dr. Weymouth wasn't the real difficulty, Colonel. Is there anything I can do? Thank you. Cassie, I... I have um, a meeting with the architects for the museum, if you'll excuse me. I'll have to have a meeting with the press secretary. Uh, they'll be expecting a, an announcement of some kind. I suggest... We make it generic, no hint of scandal. We don't want to alert anyone who might be trying to undermine you that you're on to them. You're quite right, Edmund. And perhaps you could, you know, look it over after Dax is through with it. I'd be happy to. And don't trouble yourself with anything else today. Dax? I'll see to it immediately. Excuse me. Sorry. I know how desperate you are to clear up this nightmare. It seems it's just gone from bad to worse. For starters. You really think Newgrounds going to change their minds about letting us off the hook if they go home hungry? They won't. On either count. Aren't you going to say it? You were very impressive dealing with the band. Thank you. <laughs> no, I just did what Harley said. No, I think you were just being you. And for you, that's all you'll ever need. Where are these guys? Come on. They should be here any second. And they're really coming? Yes. Well, they said so, and I don't think that they would just blow us off. Where's Catalina? Uh, she's doing something with her immigration deal. Oh. Uh, did you get a hold of Tony? Well, I called him at the club, but he already had previous plans. Uh, he didn't even have time to chat. That's weird. I can't believe he actually passed over time to spend legitimate time with you. Especially when we're not on house arrest. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. We're lucky we got out for this dinner. And after it's over, we're, we're back in lockdown again. Okay, everything's ready. Okay, uh, do you need any more help? No, no, everything's set. All we need net, <gasps> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Hey. Hi. You came hungry. Oh, come on in. Um, meet everybody. What's up, man? How you doing? Um, everybody, this is, well, new ground. <laughs> Here. Hi. Hi, Steve. Shane. What's up, Shane. Hey. I can't believe it. Actually, here. How could Tony miss this? Hey, Sam. Hey, give me. Hey, Dan. Um, thanks for letting me be here. This is like uh, being part of history. Just a preliminary meeting. Yeah, but this is this is big time. I mean, this will be one of those meetings everybody remembers. All right, well, you just remember your part. Yeah, right. Carlos. Thank you for coming. Any time for an old family friend. This, uh, it's going to be a very small meeting. He can wait upstairs. Enjoy the hospitality of the house. So what's the deal? My man waits upstairs, but this punk gets to stay? My cousin, Antonio, he stays with me. He's a Santos. Disrespect to him is disrespect to me. No disrespect intended. Bienvenido, Antonio. The place looks good, Danny. You're up well, I must be proud. Yeah. 
Inferno is very profitable, has the perfect cover. <laughs> Maria taught you well. Danny, I'm concerned about Maria's health. I've tried to get in touch with her several times, but every time I'm told she's not feeling well, can't come to the phone. Well, my grandmother's exhausted. She's taking a much needed rest. It turns out that um, she was spending far too much time looking into things that are left to me, oh. such as finding the fall guy for my mother's killer. I trust that Zeno Martin is living a productive life someplace else under a different name. Danny, you were a loose cannon. You were obsessed with finding Carmen's killer and you were accusing the wrong people. You needed closure. Closure? You're watching Oprah now? I kept the peace. That's what mattered. Mm -hmm. You had a problem. Maria and I tried to help. You still think I can't handle my own problems, Carlos? No. Not anymore. I'd like to thank you all for coming. I don't want to take a lot of your time, so I'll get right to the point. I've been spending a lot of time looking into my family's operations and your businesses as well, the way that we do business. And I think it's time for a change. Let's face it, the street operations still pay, but the profit margin is shrinking. The cost is too high in terms of manpower and lost productivity. And what the hell does that mean? Jail time, hits, assaults. Bad publicity? That's the price. It's too high. Blood is a big expense. It's public. It draws attention. It calls for crackdowns on organized crime. But look at... And with the RICO laws, it's working. Look at what's happening back east. Look at what's already happened. Most of the families are nearly wiped out. Everyone, even the bosses, are sitting in jail cells trying to get a deal. They're crawling all over each other like rats in a slum fire willing to rat on each other. With all the singing going on, the feds don't need us anymore to make their case. It's better PR to just put us in prison, too. Charlie, when's the last time you heard from your friends in Philly? Right. It's a little hard to get anyone on the phone, isn't it? Can you even say for sure who's running things now? There's a reorganization going on. Right. As in, who gets to do laundry duty in prison instead of make license plates? So you got an alternative, Danny? I do. We go into business, real business. In the past few years, look at what's happened with high-tech stocks and dot-com companies. It has made a lot of millionaires. A lot. Not anymore. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the bubble burst. The trick now is to get in early on the next big thing like biotech. With the recent Human Genome Project, all these biotech companies are springing up all over the place like, like they're mushrooms. And since there's no patent for the human genetic codes, they're still available for research, drug experimentation, drug development. Hold on one minute. What are we, scientists? What's the matter, Johnny? You don't want to learn and grow? I'm kidding, Johnny. I'm kidding. Sit down. No, we're not going to become scientists. Sit down. We buy them. We form dummy companies, sell the stock, hike up the price, and then cash out fast. Of course, the whole trick being having the right pitch, operating our end of it correctly, getting in and out at the right time. And if, in the process, we come across a good, legitimate prospect, we stay with it. Keep it legitimate. Ultimately, in the end, moving toward a place where all of our companies are legitimate and respectable. So we would be what? Uh, salesmen? You call this respectable? We're salesmen now. We sell protection. Stolen goods, drugs, guns. We sell messy products that cost us a lot of trouble. It's time for that to change. I'm sure these are not objections I'm sensing, more like questions. So I don't expect a decision right away. Think about it, think about what I've said, and then I'll get back in touch with each of you later, and we will not discuss questions or doubts. Rather, you will share with me your enthusiasm. I 
we will discuss the details of your cooperation. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> Miss LeMay, you've been great. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, it's Beth, please. No, really, it was great of you to let us invade your house on such short notice. It is my pleasure. I just wish that Susan's father hadn't missed you. Are you sure that you can't stay just a little bit longer? Uh, we have to get back on the road. <sighs> okay, well, it's, it's wonderful that you've been so kind and understand. Oh, oh, maybe that's, that's Susan's father now. Hi, oh. honey, I have Lizzie's costume. Oh, hi, kids. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, Lillian, this Hi. is uh, Newgrounds. Um, Hi. Hey, Hi, I'm Lillian. <laughs> Casey. Hi, Casey. Eric. Hi, Eric. Andrew. Hey, Andrew. I'm Stephen. Hi, Mara. Hi. Calvin. Hi, Calvin. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> We're just leaving. Oh, oh. <laughs> perfect But before time. we go, we wanted to say thanks to you, Susan. So, oh, God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> all these boys. <laughs> smart. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Uh, you can be my girl. You can be my boo. I just don't want to be the one that's getting next to you. You can be my girl. You can be my Suze. I just don't want to be the one that's saying thanks to you. They could almost be professionals, couldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate what this is doing to me, Edmund, this whole situation. I sat there and I watched Harry die, and all I could think about was getting more information from him and how close he was to telling me. It's understandable, Richard. For all you knew, it was just a guilty man trying to slip the news. And now he's dead. And I still don't have any more information than I did before. There was nothing he said, no clue to work with. No. I was too busy pressing him. He didn't have time to say much. I know it looks bleak now, Richard. You're exhausted. It's been a hideous night, but you will survive this. Survive? I'm not giving up. No, of course not. If there's anything I can do... I'll let you know. Why don't you just go get some rest now? And I thought you'd forgotten me.